Hi, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Astroneer. Hey, see that planet in the background right there? That purple one? <laughs> We're gonna blow it up today. It'll go kaboom. Yeah, because you guys gave me a fantastic idea. So we made a ton of these up, which uh, makes up, uh, what are they called? Dynamite. Yeah, that's what it's called, obviously. And if we take the dynamite and we put it on something we don't care about, like this spaceship, and we press the button, it, uh, it has an explosive reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, look! Parts! It's like Christmas. I un I unwrapped a box of cereal or something. That'd be the worst Christmas ever. Congratulations, you got Captain Crunch. But I can grind these up. That's always cool. I was so bad this year that Santa brought me a box of Bran Flakes. He didn't even want to give me any coal. It was just Bran Flakes. I didn't even get a full thing. I didn't even get a full stack of scrap out of that. That's annoying. So annoying that I'm gonna have to blow something else up. But check this out. Hydrogen. I don't have much of it, but it's okay. Oh, oxygenator. We don't need to blow that up. But if we put the, the hydrogen inside and then take the dynamite and put it right next to it, we press the button, we hold down the button. We, we hold down the button just a little bit and then watch this. It's gonna be all shiny. Oh, yes! Wait, what? Why didn't my, why didn't the spaceship blow up? Mr. Spaceship? I blew a gigantic hole in the ground. Also, methane has an explosive personality. So let's try that. Uh-huh, ready, get set, and kablammo! <laughs> Wait, what? Why don't you want to blow up, you stupid spaceship? It still works, I can still get in it. Maybe I'll just, you know what? I think that's a better spot for it. We'll just hide it in the hole. Yeah, yeah, very good. Now nobody will never know it existed. Intern won't even know. The other cool thing you guys told me in the last episode was that I should make a paver. Your game, your game, there we go. I should make, that's an RTG. I need to make a, pa there, paver. Silicone and alumina alloy. And we take the paver and we put it on the nose of our, stop, right on here, I think like that. And we go, and we steal the drill because obviously astronauts can carry gigantic drills with their fingers across the planet. And we put that on the front and we put a super cool resource tank on the back of it. And now if my, if you guys told me the truth, which usually doesn't happen, if I turn this on, I make a platform, oh yes, it works! You make a platform and you drill a platform at the same time. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. So I can go straight dolphin mode down in, is it a dolphin? Worm mode, and if I find a cavern, I don't even get lost. Look at this, that's so cool. I did it, I did it. We're never gonna, we're never gonna die again. Probably, we probably will, Never mind. Oh, that's so cool. And I just make a, a giant structure all the way down to the planet's core. Okay, that's a really good idea. You guys are geniuses. Oh look, laterite. Now let's see if I can just back this thing all the way up to the planet's surface. That was amazing. That was straight amazing. It's the best thing ever. Can I grind this thing up? Oh, <gasps> dynamite. Hello, dynamite, my old friend. Let's take you and put you right over here somewhere. And we'll go bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, 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 blow it up into scrap. Blow it up into scrap now. Did it work? <gasps> yes, I hated that thing. It was always in my way. What is this? Salvageable debris. That was kind of cool that I, I blew up an entire space station. Hopefully nobody needed that. So my thinking is instead of making a bunch of TNT, I make a few of them, but what I really do is I go to a different planet and I find one of them that has a lot of hydrogen, <laughs> and then I, I make an atmospheric condenser factory to build up a bunch of hydrogen, drop it down in a big hole, and kaboom. That should be fun. That should be enough. So these atmospheric condensers take iron, glass, and plastic. If I make, say, I don't know, 10 of them or so, we're gonna start needing a lot of resources. Thankfully, we have an automatic smelting system already made, so it makes it a lot easier. So I've got a bunch of the uh, the plastic made for this thing, and it was making a bunch of, there it is, the glass. So all we need now, oh no, I don't want all of that. All I need now is just a bunch of iron. Oh, thankfully, thankfully intern has arrived. Did he actually bring something? Dang, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that nice work. That's all hematite. He done did the, the real deal. He brought us the iron that our hearts desired, and way more than it. Wow, <laughs> nice work. So we gotta smelt this garbage down. There, he's already hes already a step ahead. You know what, I'm gonna yoink one of these. I have to say this dome thing is literally the worst. 
<laughs> the thing is so bad at storing resources. I don't know why I made it. So, atmospheric condenser. I just need a plastic on me. Oh, come on, man. Now's not the time to be full. There we go. And here we go. If I make 10 of these, these things each take 6 power per second. And the RTGs, where are they? These things right here produce 4 power per second. So, if I have 10 atmospheric condensers, that means I need 15 RTGs. That's, that's a lot of numbers. That's bigger numbers than I can think. Also, these things are pretty large, aren't they? I forgot how big they were. They go really tall. And we're gonna have to take a lot of spaceship trips. Now, if I'm gonna need to make 15 RTGs, I need 15 lithium and 15 nanocarbon alloys. Nanocarbon alloys are pretty much expensive, this thing in the game, which required titanium alloy and steel. And the titanium alloy requires titanium and graphene. And the graphene make diamonds. But we don't care about that because we just want graphene here. I also might have blown up all of my hydrogen. So I can't make hydrazine right now. And I guess if I need 15 titanium, the easiest way to get it is either to send intern on an exotic planet journey or trying to trade for it. Uh, this sounds painful though. Oh, two to one? How many am I gonna get? I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna get, wow. Literally only two titanium. Goodbye, little thing. I don't know why that works without a platform. I'm gonna put it on a platform. Please let it come back. That would be nice of it. Yay, free real estate. That's one spaceship full of atmosphere condensers. I like it. And just what do you think you can trust, intern? He decides to steal his spaceship and jet out to space again. Look at him go, wow. <laughs> can you imagine the G fuel on that? Not the G fuel, the G forces. Even the G fuel, he'd be super crazy fast. But I did manage to make up the 10 steel necessary. And look at that, he ran out of gas. <laughs> Let's put some gas in his tank for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I know. I know. That's why you're not a full-timer yet. You're still an intern. I'm kidding. He actually is full-time. But I'm going to steal his oxygenator, and he doesn't know. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that either. Bye, intern. Bye. And by 10, I really mean 15, because we need 15 RTGs. I don't think I... I thought I was going to come out at home. I don't think I made it properly. Uh-huh. That's not home. Okay, I guess it's time to go back in my tunnel. So that should be the last of the graphene necessary. So I guess we're gonna start on the titanium alloy then. Yes, here we go. Those just look so pretty, don't they? All shiny and green and junk. And I guess we're gonna convert those to nanocarbon alloys. And those look significantly less exciting. It's just like a nasty yellow color, gross. Oh, and look who's returned. Hello, my friend. I don't, I, yeah, there we go. There's the wave one. Okay, did he bring did he bring back what I hope he brought back? Uh no, he didn't. Oh, there it is! Surprise! Haha, <laughs> titanium! Yes! Woo! To space! So we just get to start building the RTGs up. I know I have a lot of these somewhere in the world. I'm not sure where they went though, but we do need 15 now. And I'm hoping they pop down into little tiny packages. Oh, they do. They're so cute like that. So what happens if I grind a grinder? Because I need lithium. And I think there's something very fitting about grinding a grinder in a grinder. And it's four scrap to one lithium? That's even more expensive than titanium. How does that make any sense? So I might have needed to take a small quick trip to an exotic planet, mainly to get the helium out of it, but there was something else quite exciting there. Check it out. I found four more RTGs. That was awesome. And I can take the new helium I got, put it in here, and now we can continue making these beautiful, ugly contraptions. <laughs> Intern looks like he's having fun making some storage units too. Look at him go. And another RTG, and another one, and another one, and another one, and one more time, and the 10th, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and I got them all. So that was technically all 15 of them that I calculated. Uh, it's always good to have a spare though, isn't it? And since we won't be on this planet very much longer, might as well take it. Now, somebody did have a good comment in the last video that we can extend the storage significantly. Oh, oh, hot dang. That's incredible. <laughs> yes, that's so cool. We can carry everything today. Intern's gonna be so impressed. He doesn't even, oh, he sees it. Does he see it now? Does he see it? He sees it. He's like, <laughs> head scratching. Thankfully, we do have a couple extra steels as well, so I can build another one. And then we'll put this on there. <laughs> that is one full spaceship. Ooh, it's also almost out of gas. 
All right, all right. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and launch our spaceship that's entirely over full. Hopefully I have enough fuel. Yeah, we got enough gas. Get out of there. And then, you know what? Better idea. And shredding time. Aw. Can I not shred that? No, you know what? This isn't attached. Or it is. And I don't... Okay. Well, um, spaceship. And activate. Watch all of this stuff just fold in. I don't know how a big spaceship can hold all of that. <laughs> the intern's like, bye. Well, that was cool. I like that. So I originally wanted to go to this little planet right here, Novus, because it does have gas, it's hydrogen and methane, but I think Vesinea here has a better concentration of hydrogen. And this place is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this game is so pretty. It would be a shame if someone were to land on it with the tons and tons and tons of explosives. Ah, this is perfect. Oh, I've actually been here before. Even better. <laughs> unpacking time. And then we connect all of the things together and start unpacking the atmosphere condensers. Yes. Plop down a few RTGs and then start collecting hydrogen to make explosives. Oh, it's working. It's so beautiful. Oh boy. So this is making hydrogen faster than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm already overwhelmed with it. I have too much. Can you have too much of a good thing? Can you have too many explosives? I'm not sure. I mean, is that a good thing? Oh man. So the question is, now that I've got tons and tons of hydrogen being made, where do I put it? Should I just, I don't know. Like, I wanna drop it off into a hole somewhere. Oh, hey look, intern showed up. He brought, what did he bring? He brought, uh, oh, lots of storage and more platforms, hot dang. Not gonna lie, there's something very satisfying about having this thing work the way it's working right now. <laughs> because well, that's all 28 storage things that uh, intern brought and we already have a spaceship full of it. Uh, <laughs> yes, that means we're gonna have to set up, oh, another atmospheric condenser. Looky what I found. <laughs> He's like, all right. And that's 16 RTGs going to. Those are quite expensive. Okay, so I'm trying to find a spot to drop all these bombs. This thing's annoying me, so I'm gonna remove it. Yeah, just put that right over here and there we go. Yep, that'll work, maybe. And ready, get set, and didn't work. Why did you not blow up when you're supposed to blow up? Thankfully, I brought two splody bits. Uh-huh, and then Okay, ready, and turn around. Ow! It still didn't, it still didn't blow up. Maybe it's an anti-explosive alien spaceship from outer space. All right, so we're just gonna carry this silo full of hydrogen gases way over here and then pick them off and throw them down the hole. That's what we're gonna do for the next two hours. And that should be an entire spaceship full. How's it look? I'm gonna go play in it. Okay, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. It feels kind of squishy, not squishy, like I don't even know. I don't want to describe it though, because it's quite explosive. Oh, nice, and it's almost entirely full again. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I, I hate, I hate this idea. But we're gonna do a test run, just to see how much one spaceship full, or one giant loader. Yeah, oh, we're gonna, I need that. We're gonna, we're gonna do just a little test here. In turns like, are you kidding me? I did all this work, and you're just gonna do a test explosion? <laughs> yeah, that's the answer is yes. All right, oh, 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 oh. okay, ready? And then we're gonna take one of these, we're gonna put it right, right on the wall. There you go. We're just make a little chain. Hopefully it'll work, because I don't want to, I don't want to blow up. There we go, there. Let's see how this does. If I press this button, that one will explode. Hopefully it doesn't explode the hydrazine on my backpack. Wow! It did explode the hydrazine in my backpack. <laughs> Got <laughs> Now, ooh. Oh, look, that did so much damage. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, no, 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 intern, no, don't go down there. I probably need, oh, did it explode my entire jetpack? I think it did. That's not good. And then we'll put them over here and we'll just keep putting them right onto this one. And then we'll just load them up into the hole. I mean, his backpack and he doesn't know yet. And then we'll just keep putting him there. Maybe he does know. Is he taking him off his backpack? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> I fully expected him to put him back on my backpack. No, get, stop it. No, that's my backpack. That's not for you touch. No touch. 
So, look, look at how deep this hole is. <laughs> and Geronimo! Oh, look at this! This is like another three or four spaceships full that we've been loading up. Oh, wow, it took damage by falling. Also, right over here, there's another cavern level. So, oh, I'm gonna die. We're so close. Oh, we did get some in there. Oh boy, please don't run out of jet fuel. Okay, okay, good. Um, that's pretty close to the center of the planet, I think. So every one of these large silos has six of these on both sides. That's 12 of them, and each of those can hold these things. So that's eight uh, individual storage places times 12 being 96. And then we've done about, I don't know, five of them down into that hole so far. So that's getting close to 500 explosives. So we better add some more just for fun. So after roughly another hour or so and a whole bunch of garbage in my backpack, we have roughly a thousand of these things down here. I made the hole a little bit deeper. Oh, do you hear it? It sounds like crabs walking on sand. That's kind of scary. I don't like that. Time to blow it up. Okay, and we'll put you right there. And we'll just kind of chain this out. Hopefully it stays in a good radius. No, 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 don't go in there. Okay, good thing it doesn't explode. Yeah, that's better. And does it just stick to the wall? Oh, it does, so nice. Now, I didn't leave any up top for intern because I know his plans. I know what he wants to do. He wants to blow me up. I don't know. I think this actually looks pretty good. We got a nice trail going down here, down and around, down into the cavern. I like it. I like it a lot. There's there's a ton of explosives down there. Um, how do we want to do this? Maybe I should give him the honor of of blowing it up. Yeah. And the honor of probably blowing me up again, but that's okay. Here he goes. Oh, I can't even see him. I just really want to watch the explosions go down the tunnel. And hopefully they chain properly. Oh, I hear it beeping. I hear it beeping. Oh! Oh, it didn't chain properly. <laughs> that means we get to do it again. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, but we failed. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think he's going to have to run down in the hole. Uh-oh. I wonder if he runs down in the hole and presses the button. There's only one more dynamite left. All right. Attempt number three. Coming right up. Blow up a planet's core. That's the attempt anyway. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Oh, there it goes. Oh! Okay, I died again. <laughs> that was fantastic. Wait, what? Did we blow up the base? We blew up the base! Oh, our poor base! We blew up the whole world. Look at those things. Are No way. <laughs> Did intern die? Yay, intern, I mean, no, intern died. Oh, man. Wow! <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Where'd he go? Is he alive? Where'd he go? I hear, I was not expecting. Oh, there he's way down there. Let's see if I can go. Oh, no, 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 don't die. That was a way, way, way bigger hole than I thought it was gonna be. I was not expecting to blow up the base by any stretch of the imagination. Ow. No, 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 oh. <laughs> we did it. Oh, let's see. Um, That looked deadly. I've made it down to the bottom of the hole. This is so much deeper than I thought it would be. Oh, no. Everything on my backpack's blown up. Like, everything blew up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to dehydrate of lack of air poisoning, too. Oh, look. There's more stuff. That's stuff that didn't that got blown up. Good, go away. Thanks. No, I need that. Ah! No, there's no oxygen in there. Oh, no. Oh, that's way, way far down. Oh, there's lithium down here. That's actually... Hey, wait. Can I make a... I need oxygen filters. Oh, make it super quick. Make it super quick or I'm going to die. Oh, thankfully, I made it down. Can I see the world? Hey, there comes the turn. Ah! Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And did he make it? No, of course not. <laughs> wow, that was that was quite the explosion. Um, I'm quite impressed. We didn't quite make it to the planet core, but I mean, we made it almost there. That's the surface right there. <laughs> so that'll do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.